Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, welcome. Today we will discuss common cause cut sheets. So, we will start with dependent failures, then coupling mechanisms, common cause failures and common cause cut sheets with reference to fault tree analysis. So, what is dependent failure? event whose probability of failure is dependent on the occurrence of other failures that is dependent failure. Okay. So, we will discuss dependent failure and you will find out the causes of dependent failures and the types of dependent failures including the causes. So, you see that there are three types based on coupling mechanisms, parallel versus cascade propagation and management deficiency. So, I have discussed parallel versus cascade propagation uh, earlier in one lecture related to coupling mechanism we have not discussed and management deficiency as you know the management ultimately controls the work organization and, and starting from the day to day operation to big decisions everything are management oriented. So, any failure in management policy management actions ultimately leads to failure of several components or several subsystem or even several systems. So, that is why the deficiency of management is always leading to failure of several components and with reference to fault tree that several basic events and then uh, these are basically uh, basically coming under dependent failure. So, we will be uh, discussing next the coupling mechanism and then we will go for the common cause cut sets. So, <coughs> there are four types of coupling mechanism. Before starting this, uh, let me tell you that the lecture today we are presenting it is it, it has been taken from the book probabilistic risk assessment by Komamoto and Henley and almost all the slides I have prepared taking uh, materials from that book. So, the students are therefore requested to go through that book the relevant portion and get understand that what is coupling mechanism. So, now under coupling mechanism there are functional coupling, common unit coupling, proximity coupling and human coupling. Now, let us understand what is the functional coupling. Suppose there are two devices which basically works when the window is for example, the AC with open window and is window is closed. Now, if AC is uh, window is open, then AC will not work. So, under such conditions that device A and device B will not work in that case we can say that it is it is functional coupling that means, the work of AC is required to Will, will work only when the open window is closed. So, such things are 
functional coupling the device a gives boundary condition under which device b perform its function so what is the boundary function for a that window must be closed then only ac will work so that type of coupling is known as functional coupling so <coughs> you may find out situations where similar case suppose two device that one device will give the boundary condition for the other to work such situations will be known as functional coupling for example a may create boundary of device b to work or b device b may create boundary of a to work so either of the two will ultimately talks about the functional coupling now <clears throat> second one is common unit coupling so here what will happen here because of this coupling mechanism in the first case function coupling coupling mechanism so failure of one device will depend on the others now common unit coupling common unit coupling means suppose there are two uni units device a and device b now both are connected to a common power line so what will happen if the power line disconnected or power line switch power supply is switched off or power supply is disconnected so both the unit will fail to work so that mean they are coupled with a common power line which is no that's why if power is not available things will not work now come to the proximity coupling what is proximity coupling proximity coupling means that it sometime it is basically related to the zone of influence for example you just think of this floor plan so there are few rooms and you see that we we have given several maps one is impact stress map vibration map temperature map now these are the these are the, based on the floor plan you see that this is the area or location where impact one is prominent is available working here impact 3 impact 4 impact 1 impact 2 like this similarly this is the floor vibration one is affecting this floor vibration type 2 is affecting and similarly the different temperature at this locations now come to the situation suppose there is there 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 are different equipments and which are operating in this floor and if the equipment is impact susceptible then what will happen be impact one let it be so then the equipment suppose one equipment here another one here another one here so because of this proximity to the impact source similarly because of the proximity to the vibration or because of the proximity to the to the temperature what will happen whatever the equipment which are susceptible susceptible to this kind of this kind of uh, stresses like the impact vibration or temperature so they will fail in the presence of this stresses so so then this is basically known as proximity coupling the equipment fails because they are they are affected or exposed to particular type of stresses so the proximity coupling is activated either by external or internal failures for example sensors in one system might fail due to an excessive temperature resulting from a second system failure also okay so what does it mean suppose <coughs> here is an equipment sensor which is vibration 
dependent. If there is vibration, the sensor will fail. Suppose there is a there is a another equipment which causes vibration, and as a result, this this sensor is affected by that vibration. Maybe vibration source one. So this kind of this kind of uh, coupling is known as proximity coupling. So when you you, you develop develop fault tree and then you must understand that what are the equipment which are which are affected by such common causes so another one is human coupling so as you know that human coupling basically human requires to do many things like operator operates machines, maintenance worker must do proper maintenance. So, that since there are human machine interface and it may so happen that human machine interface and it may so happen that that one person is looking after two three machines and if he makes mistake ultimately all the machines will be will be under failure conditions. So, that human coupling that is what is known as human coupling. So, that means there are four kinds of uh, coupling we have discussed one is functional coupling, another one is your common unit coupling, then third one is proximity coupling and fourth one is human coupling. So, this coupling ultimately leads to dependent failures. In addition, what we have discussed, in addition you have seen that uh, parallel or cascade propagation, any 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 unwanted accidents or incident what have taken place. Uh, so, that may propagate with cascading effects. So, what will happen that also lead to failure of several equipment or components or subsystem and management deficiency is another one. So, which is mostly hidden or latent in nature, but this this all this most of the time leads to common unit failures, common cause failures. So, be careful when you are de you are developing uh, fault tree and quantifying fault tree and as such uh, you know that fault tree is one of the part of the bow tie. So, when you, you are interested to quantify the accident paths in, in, in bow tie, so that time the common cause failures are very very important and that has to be taken care of. So, we will now discuss little Mm, elaborately what is common cause failure. So, the definition given by Mosley at all 1998, what is CCF that common cause failure a subset of dependent events in which two or more component fault ex states exists, two or more component fault states exist at the same time or in short interval of time and direct result of shared cause. So, whether it is because of coupling problem or it is because of your cascade or propagation problem or because of management deficiency problem, but when two or more component faults taken place given a shared cause, so that is common cause. Example, you just think of three redundant component A, B, C. The total failure of probability A can be expressed in terms of their independent failure and dependent failures. So, for example, independent failure is definitely that A 1 probability of A 1 if you write in terms of probability. What are the dependents? There are three components. So, obviously, one will be A, B another will be A C and A B C who related to component A because A and B that common failure 
a c common failure and a b c three component failure simultaneously. So, that is what is written as that failure of component a and b, but not c from common or shared cause a c common cause a b c from common cause. Okay. Suppose, if you want to do this for b, then it will be c a b c b c c a b c. If you want to do it for c, then c a c c b c c a b c. So, these are the basically common failures, common failure events. So, then what will be the um, component uh, age total failure? So, in terms of Boolean expression, you can write that the total failure of A will be the independent failure, common cause failures. So, you can do similar expression for B, similar expression for C. Okay. So, this is what is our definition of common cause failure. Now, what we will do? We will see what are the common cause categories in, in industrial situation or as such in any application you will find out that there are different sources of common causes in this slide and in the next slide we will see all the sources because if you know the sources you will be careful while developing poultry and bow tie. So, what is C? What is that? That is the first one is first one is your environment, system, component and subsystems. And you see the symbols as well as the category. The categories are impact, vibration, pressure, grit, stress, temperature, loss of energy source, calibration, manufacturer. So, all are basically the source of common causes. So, there are some examples like impact, pipe whip, water hammer, missiles, earthquake, structural failure. All those leads to impact category. Suppose, component or equipment susceptible to all those impacts will be will be failed simultaneously. So, that leads to common cause failure of those equipment or component. Similarly, vibration, machinery in motion will create vibration, earthquake will vibration. Pressure, explosion, out of tolerance systems changes, pump over period, etcetera. Grit, airborne dust, metal fragments generated by moving parts with inadequate tolerances. So, similarly, stress, thermal stress, thermal stress and bending moments, temperature, fire, lighting, welding equipment, cooling system fault, electrical short circuit, all those lead to temperature. Loss of energy sources, common drive shaft, same power supply or common power supply that also lead to your loss of energy source. Calibration, you understand that misprinted calibration and manufacturer repeated fabrication error such as neglect to properly coat relay contacts, poor workmanship and etcetera. So, these are the things which are available in this book also and please go through because these are the information which you require to gather before doing any kind of uh, poultry or bow tie analysis. And the examples are uh, just to give you and, uh, and hint that what, are, what do mean by impact or what do you mean by the different common cause categories. So, there may be more examples, there can be more categories if you found, if you found please note it down. Then plant personnel will also lead to common causes like installation contractor, maintenance and operation. So, that been the human coupling will be a problematic one under this situation. So, human may create problem and then ultimately that will lead to common cause. For example, installation contractor, same contractor or queue. So, and, and uh, incompetent contractor let it be always do some kind of mistakes. So, that will lead to uh, failures. 
incorrect procedure maintenance incorrect procedure inadequately trained personnel if you follow incorrect procedure so you will follow it for several identical components which are which will be uh, used in a particular systems and then that incorrect maintenance ultimately leads to failure of all those components uh, which you have maintained similarly operation operator disabled or overstressed faulty operating procedure and test so these are the things which are basically operator plan personnel dependent or human dependent then another one is basically aging which basically component of same materials please so there are identical parts so made of same material and what will happen their life span will be also similar it is quite likely that at a certain period of time all of them will fail so that also lead to common cause failure so that is known as aging okay so these are the sources of common cause failure we explained that what are the different categories one is environment system component subsystem that is one source second source personnel and third one is the aging itself component itself if you can relate to that psc concept that primary secondary and command you will you have seen there that that failure that aging is basically related to the design part primary failure part plant personnel we have explained there that they will cause problem and at the same time let us discuss uh, with a fault tree example so how can you develop cart seats so in order to develop common cause cart sets you please remember few things one is the common cause cart set and neutral event and common cause event so a cart set is called a common cause cart set so in common cause result in the co-occurrence of all event in the cart set so our our topic is common cause cart set what is common cause cart set you you already know what is cart set suppose s1 is a cart set and it is basically 1 3 and 5 these are the basic events so we will say this is common cause cart set when common cause result in co occurrence of all events in the cart sets so may there may be one common cause let it be the vibration which result in failure of all those three that is 1 3 and 5 these th components and the event 1 and 3 and 5 these three events occur because of that vibration or it may be your operator error so operator or it may be vibra uh, impact or it may be something else may be aging also so when you get a cart set and where all the events are caused by a common cause then this is known as common cause cart set so a, we will talk about neutral event a basic event is called a neutral event vis a vis a common cause event if it is independent of the cause so you develop fault tree you will find out that in that fault tree it is not the, the fault tree maybe there will be suppose 10 basic events 10 basic events suppose 1 3 5 are caused by common cause then 2 4 6 7 8 9 10 they are not caused by common cause so then they will be called neutral event obviously with re with reference to the common cause because here i say this is basically operator your human is the problem so operator maintenance is the issue because of poor maintenance all three fails then the common cause is poor maintenance and there are 10 basic events so then with reference refer with reference to the operator's maintenance problem then 1 3 5 are common cause events but rest of the seven events they will be neutral event so please remember <coughs> one is with reference to basic events 
there will be common cause events there will be neutral events with reference to common cause for example we say for operator is the common cause and this is the common cause event maybe there is another cut set which is basically 2 and 3 so or 2 and 4 let it be 2 and 4 which may be impact prone impact susceptible impact susceptible now if we say that this is also a common cause cut state where 2 and 4 both the event occur because of common cause impact and then with reference to this impact 2 4 is the common cause events but another 1 3 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 they are neutral event so that means you have to understand common cause event and neutral event with reference to the common cause okay now let us understand one assumption here most neutral events have far smaller probabilities of occurrence than common cause events. These neutral events are assumed not to occur in, in, a, in the given fault tree. So, I will see little later that given a fault tree there will be there will be few, few important thing one is common cause. Then when you say common cause, so there will be common cause events related to that common cause and neutral events which are which are not related to that common cause. Then the assumption is the all the neutral events have far smaller probabilities of occurrence compared to the common cause events. So, in, in, in basically understanding the or de, while deriving the common cause cut set the assumption is that you put 0 value for the neutral events, 0 probability value for the neutral event that means as if they are uh, those, those things are not occurring. Okay. So, this, this, this particular assumption we will be using while we will be deriving common cause cut sets. So, let us see this, uh, this is our fault tree, this is our fault tree. So, this AND gate or gate or gate then this is voting gate like this. Now, here how many events are there basic events. So, you see 1 to 2 I think 12 basic events are there 1 to this is 12 yes 12 basic events are there. So, let the this is a fault tree for a system and and all the basic event related equipment and component are situated in a particular floor and this is our floor plane. So, if you see the floor plan, now you see that there are different rooms 102, 104, 19, 199, 103, 16, 105, 101 and you see that 5 and 6 these two basic these two equipment or component related to event 5 and 6 located here these are 3, 4, 12 located here. 9 located here only this is basically the floor plan. Okay. Now, as you have seen earlier in the proximity coupling we have shown you that the different uh, locations of the flo floor is susceptible or affected by different kind of stressors or common causes for example, impact for example, operators problem for example, vibration, for example, temperature. So, that means one is the equipment or component relating to basic events, another one is the common cause, another one is the domain means the common cause has its own domain. For example, there are some common cause which whose domain may be 104 and then in that domain may be the there are some some equipment or some events which can be affected by that common cause, but there are some events which are 
which are not affected by those common causes. So, this situation will arise and this situation in summary it is given in this table. What it is given in this table you see that impact then the common cause impact 1, impact 2, impact 3 and then the domain. So, impact 1 domain is 102, 104. So, this and these two rooms, but there are events which are impact which which are caused by I 1 impact 1 are 6 and 3. So, that means in 102 the the equipment whose basic event we are saying or component basic event we are saying 6 this is affected by impact 1 and as well as 3 which which is situated in 104 room affected by impact 1, but even though even though the domain is for impact 1 is these two rooms, but 5, 4 and 12 are not affected by impact 1 because they are not susceptible to impact 1. Similarly, if you consider O1, see whatever domain is basically operation domain will be all the rooms everywhere operation takes place and if you see that which are the basic events that are affected by operation problem that are 1, 3 and 5. So, 1, 3 and 5 and 5. So, that means what few things very important things are there first is common cause what is the domain it is affecting and what are the com events that will be caused by that common cause these things you have to keep in mind. Now, let us take this uh, this example this example that this is our uh, top event and you all know that that voting gate can be represented equivalently using AND and OR gate. So, our step 0 is this is our uh, fault tree and the common cause map is given also common cause uh, that domain and common cause events it is given there along with float plan. So, with reference to this we want to create we want to develop common cause card sets. So, what does it mean? You will de develop CCF for I 1, CCF for I 2, CCF for I 3, similarly CCF for any of the common causes, CCF common cause that cut sets we will develop, common cause failure cut sets. So, what we are taking? We are taking example of this poultry and all of you know that voting guess can be represented like this. Now, assumption is that neutral event uh, probability will be far far less than the common cause event probability hence there will be there will be simplification what is the simplification here simplification is get dependent for example we are we are basically saying that star this denotes the neutral event this is our neutral event so this is our neutral event now, so that means this is a common cause event. Now, common cause event and neutral event are inputs to a AND gate. So, what will be the resultant simplification based because of the assumption? Because of the assumption, the result signification will be here, the neutral event will be there because of AND gate. As this probability is far, far low, so ultimately this, this common cause will not have such effect. So, ultimately it will be dominated by this neutral event probability. So, your your the upper gate will be will get uh, get inputs of 1 which was already there and the neutral event ok. But, but if it is OR gate it will be just reverse because any one of the two uh, can cause the top event to occur. So, as a result here it will be dominated by your common cause because the neutral event probability is far far low. So, it will be dominated by 2, 2 means the common cause. So, accordingly the, the simplification of this gate will be like this. So, if we adopt this two simplification in the in the fault tree given to us. So, what what I, I, I mean to say now you will with reference to a particular common cause you will be able to simplify it. 
Okay. So let us do step zero. This is the probab this is the fault tree. Now step one. Step one basically we are making uh, the um, common coach cut set with reference to O one. That is operation one uh, common cause. So ultimately, what happened? If you go, by, you see that this is the first. This is our tree zero tree. Then equivalent uh, and and or combination tree. Then the then the and and uh, or get simplification based on the assumptions. So it this tree ultimately leads to this. You see. Just I explain one, this one. This is four and six. How it is becoming four and six? You see, with reference to O one, one three twelve is the common common cause events. Four six not common cause. This is neutral. This is the end gate. When there is end gate, so what will happen ultimately? The neutral event will be there. The common cause event will have. Insignificant role. So one is the common cause, four six is the neutral. So this this ultimately using this simplification, you are getting four six here. In this manner, you simplify. If you simplify, this is step two. Then step three, you see what happened. One three twelve is coming. One three twelve. Now this is our this is and four six. Neutral four six neutral one three two twelve is the twelve uh, is the common. It is OR gate where it is OR gate. So ultimately the neutral uh, your common events will become significant. So neutral event will be neglected. So four six will be neglected. One three twelve be there will be there. So as a result next step one three twelve is there. So in this manner if you continue so ultimately you will get with reference to O one. This is the this is the result this is the resultant uh, fault tree. Now one three twelve and one three. So if you now use Mokas algorithm and develop the cut sets, so you will ultimately get get the cut set for O one uh, will be the common cause events one three. Then the cut set for O one will be one three and twelve. So Please practice. I am sure that you will be with reference to this tree. This is for O one. You will and uh, where ultimately one three twelve but the common cause. So when you you they use Mokas algorithm here. So ultimately when you ultimately when you simplify the L, uh, final cut sets what you got, then you will be you will be leading to only this. Only this one three twelve. So then, what is the common cause cut set for common cause O one one three twelve? Similarly for T two S one S three I two. So for I two you got two cut sets. S three you got one. S one one T two one. Okay. So similarly, I I request you to check for O two, and you see that whether you are going to get any. Common cause cut sets or not, or, or it is impossible. You check it. Okay, so I hope that you understand the common cause common cause cut set. Common cause cut set. Let me repeat once more that basically the, there will be some shared causes which which cause many of the events to occur. All those events given a shared cause is called common cause. Uh, events and when you you want to find the common cause cut sets from a fault tree, then you have to use the uh, assumption that common cause uh, neutral event cut uh, probabilities are far far less than the common cause probabilities, and then you you for a fault tree you make the equivalent fault tree using and and or gates if it is needed, then for And and or simplification, whatever way we have explained here, you follow it, and finally consider a particular common cause. Simplify the fault tree 
with reference to that common cause and then let us use the uh, Mokas algorithm or mixed up algorithm with reference to that simplified fault tree and whatever sets you will get the, that will be uh, or whatever cut sets you will get that will be the common cause cut sets for that particular cause and accordingly you have to find out all the uh, common cause cut sets considering all the common causes that is applicable for your fault tree. Thank you very much.